Hey, what's up and welcome to Raise Davao, where we raise the profiles of groups, characters and individuals doing amazing things from our city of Davao. But today we go a little further afield and we take you to a mountaintop and introduce you to a couple who way back in 1994 had this vision of converting what was a huge grass hilltop into a beautiful mountain resort, planting trees way back in 2000, which now has converted it into an amazing family getaway. Today, we get to ride here, courtesy of Isuzu, who loaned us their Isuzu Mu X, a brand new 2018 model, and we get to take our family out on an adventure. So my wife and our three youngest today get to enjoy this. So anyway, why don't you come along with us and let's see what our beautiful nation has in terms of hidden gems and adventures that even I didn't know about. Let's go and do this. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. So we're gonna go on a wild adventure and go camping. You're gonna join my family camping. I brought a guitar and everything, so you guys better be ready for this. My wife is gonna sing, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? We have just hit a little turning and we are heading to Camp Sapros. Is that correct? Camp Sapros. We're 25 kilometers out, but I want to show you something. Can I grab one of these cigarillas? We just got mauled in the middle of the street. Here we, well, actually we stopped off. And so part of the adventure is we find out, see this tiny little fruit? You see this fruit? This, it's called a cigarilla. And it's a mixture of sweet and sour. Inside is sweet, the skin is slightly sour, and it has a slightly powdery texture. It's very good, it's right. You, you think you like that? <laughs> so, you know, it is actually quite refreshing to eat, and there was tons of it on the roadside, so we ended up buying that. And because we love avocados, we picked up some avocados, you know, like you do. But there you go, there's a little lesson for you all. This tiny fruit, it, it, it sounds like cigarettes, right? But it isn't, it's cigarillas. So make it a little bit more Latin, a little bit more exotic. So as I'm driving in this cool ride, I'm eating cigarillas. Here. We are climbing up. We're on Capatagan Road. We are climbing up and up and up. The view, oh, it's getting so pretty. I'm loving this view right now. So yeah, so we are climbing the mountain top. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is why we love Mindanao. You know, when you get to explore like this, bring your family, your friends. Oh yeah, it doesn't get much better. Anyway, we're getting there. This is beautiful. Wow. Man, this is some exploration up here. We've arrived at this beautiful campsite and uh, had the most amazing view, but this little man right here fell asleep. Shh. Obviously the ride was comfortable enough to keep this young man in a place of rest and peace. But uh, pretty soon he's gonna wake up hungry, so. Yeah, we'll give him a couple more minutes. Yeah. 
thank you, Lord God, for this amazing blessing of life. Yeah, we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Wow, so we get to finally sit down here and we're being treated. We've got burgers and fries for all. The whole crew is just about to come down and sit down at this mega long table here in Camp uh, Sabros. And uh, we've got what? Spaghetti, famous buffalo wings, and uh, they're just really treating as well. And it, you know, just chilling here on a mountaintop, and it's like aircon everywhere. <laughs> We're so used to the city where you're constantly sweating. And I think about moving, I'm sweating. Here, I feel like I'm walking in aircon everywhere. Even our team are like, woo, I'm a little chilly. So it's a beautiful place to get away if you just want to have a, just a wind down. So right now, we've been on a long journey. The kids have been asleep. Well, actually, the little one has been. These two are ready to eat. You guys ready to chow down? She's already started. Anyway, we're gonna get going with this and show you a little bit more of the coolness of this vibe up here on the mountaintop. All right, so I told you I was gonna introduce you to the man behind this vision. This is this awesome brother I've just met today. Bro, uh, thank you so much for, for having us and my family here today. You're welcome in Camp Sabros anytime. Thank you, bro. So, look, I'll tell you what. I don't wanna introduce him. This brother knows who he is and what he's up to. And I'm just here enjoying his vision. So brother, introduce yourself. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Edwin Sakdalan, the owner of Camp Sabros. So Edwin, bro, you purchased this piece of land back when? 1994. Ah, B, that's a long time ago. Yeah. What was your original vision for it when you first got it? Nothing, just to come here only. I have a nice view of Mount Apo. Mm. The climate is cold, it's yeah, cold weather. And then made some huts, stayed here. Yeah, so place is just to chill, basically. You decided, I like this spot. I mean, you were telling me earlier that this was just like a grass mound, basically, when you bought it. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, <laughs> there's no... Now, trees, I'm the one who replanted this, the pine trees. Nothing at all. And then now, you could see the pine trees. Wow, it's they're really grown up. And seriously, there was nothing here. And you planted... How many pine trees did you actually plant on this mountaintop? Almost 2,500 pine trees. <laughs> Did you hear that? This brother is repopulating the forest. Now that is cool. Yeah. I mean, that's wild. So, over like 2,500 trees. Yeah, yeah. And how old are they now, here? They're we started planting 1998 to 2004. Wow. So we're talking like 18 to 20 year old trees. Yes. And so that vision was just, it's literally been birthed here. You've created a new landscape. Yes. And bro, you, your inspiration here has got this kind of Midwestern American vibe. And what's the deal with that, man? What's your story for that? Uh, you need to go back to the future, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's got that old school vibe. Uh, yeah, you know? I, the new ones are boring for me. Eh? I'm I agree. interested with the old vintage things. Eh? Exactly. And on that vintage note, I mean, the way that you've done the styling of your bar, of this mountaintop view, bro, I've got to say, it feels like just chilled. You know, you've got the trees, you've got the wood, you got the old signs. For me, I've got to admit, that's awesome because I love classic. Oh, I'm a classic, classic. lover too. <laughs> you obviously have a love for not just a classic design, but you have a classic eye for motors, right? Yeah. And so what's the story behind that? you just been collecting? I, I want to show you what he has in a minute. But what, what's the story behind that, bro? Well, I, I have a passion for old classic cars, some muscle cars, uh, and I also ride a bike. Ooh, what, don't tell me yet. I want to see it. Is the bike here? Yes. <laughs> Coming up here, I was greeted by this view. Tell me a little something about this car, brother. What is, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah. It's a 1963 uh, Volkswagen Karman Gia. Golly, it's beautiful. And did you restore this? Ah, uh, no. One of my friends restored it back really? in Manila. Wow. And it's it's my first car, actually. My father owns this, and it, I inherited from him. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and then restored it. And then that's the story. Uh, still now, it's still, it's still here. And it's, it's still, still beautiful. Here. Beautiful. It still drives good. And it Great. still drives, so you still can uh, take it on the cruise every yeah, now and again. Yeah. Wow. Check that out, guys. Now that is a piece of motoring history 
And this brother is just keeping it running the whole time. I mean, I love yeah. that, bro. Mm -hmm. And I take it this will become part of a family heirloom. Yeah. You'll get passed on, yeah. right? Yeah, passed on. <laughs> you gotta love that. You see, motors are more than just machines. They have a certain historical memories associated with them. I'm sure you, your father, you had memories with yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a kid, uh, I rode at the bath. Just no now. way. But uh, I don't think you want to get in the back of the anymore. I would say let's try, but let's not try that. But yeah, this is beautiful, man. What a beautiful ride. Yeah, oh, thanks, thanks. Wow. Thanks, man. Look at this hidden gems right here in the mountaintop. Can you believe that? Oh. Did you see what I'm seeing, brother? Seriously? So, what is this one, man? It's it's my horse. It, it's a big horse. I mean, this brother has real horses on the mountaintop, but this is a real horse as well. But there's about how many horses are in this? It's a 1200 cc, and uh, it's a Harley 48. Oh. It's a Sportster. Oh. And it's beautiful, bro. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this really is a toy of epic proportion, man. That's a beast. And you believe that this is part, and you've got this in your own, it's got its own little vibe. You had to create this shed for it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's uh, the stable of my horse. It's the, <laughs> I'm gonna love that, dude. He's got a horse stable for his Harley. Now that, I got nothing else to say. Just enjoy the ride, shall we? Just enjoy this ride. Good night, it's beautiful. First things first, my kids wanna try the zip line. This is the first zip line. You see this line right here? That is 380 meters. So I'm gonna take that as a given. Straight down here. And let's see how it goes. Woo! These adrenaline junkies you see behind me, I haven't even had to go yet. Not me. They've all just been on the zip line, and now they're gonna ride a horse to the other side so they can ride an 800 meter zip line, which once upon a time was the longest zip line here. Now it's one of the longest. It's nearly a kilometer long, so giddy up, they're going. Let's do this. Right, so these adventure junkies are rolling off to the next phase of this beautiful camp. Have fun. Hey Mike, don't gallop too fast, man. I'm watching you. Look at his face, look at that face. <laughs> All right, have fun, man. Give me a high five. See you later. We're gonna go on the 800 meter zip line in Camp Sabros. Here we go. About to launch off. Okay, so ready? I'm ready, bro. Seriously, an amazing day. The music is, is kicking. The fire has been lit. Up on the mountainside, been flying through the skies. What else can you say? I'm chilling with my girl, my kids, my family. This camp is the real deal. Camp Sabros, I tell you, this is a real hidden gem. I'm so excited to have found this place. We'll definitely be coming back. Our motor adventures, 
checking all these things out. It just doesn't get any better. I might move away from this. It's getting a little <laughs> bit warm. <laughs> Looking at the guitar. I might get my guitar out and chill by the campfire. How about that? Mm-hmm. I see fire burning in me. I see fire deep inside of me. Holy fire. Hey, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this journey and discovering hidden gems in our beautiful nation. And let's take a moment and just enjoy the beauty of God's creation and take inspiration from this fantastic couple who found a way to invest into the environment so that it's not just something we can enjoy for today, but something that can be enjoyed by future generations. This is Alwood and this is Ray's Davao and I'll see you on the next episode.